for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you complete detailing of g plus 2 structural model by using etap software okay so in my previous video i was already explained typical floor plan for the respected uh, residential comma uh, duplex house building so for that respected building in this video i will explain you how to detail that respected structure by using etap software okay so click on the pdf option this is my typical floor plan so i will provide you the complete details about this respected video in the above cut link and below description you can watch that video initially for the complete details about the typical floor plan okay so i was already done the modeling process for this respected building structure in etap software so click on the etap software here so this is the building model i was done modeling process by using etap software it will be consisting of ground level plinth level first slab second slab and third slab here like this okay so initially i will show you the properties for this respected structure go to define option material properties so for this structure i was taken m25 grade concrete and hysd bars of 415 grade steel again in the same process we have to see the uh, uh, cross sections of the beams columns go to select the section properties frame section so for this building i was consider 0.35 cross 0.23 beam size and column size 0.35 cross 0.35 again i will show you the slab thickness go to define option section properties slab section so it will be consisting of 150 mm okay so i was taken the load cases only related to the Uh, gravity loading condition which are comes under the dead loading live loading condition systems okay so after applying all the load cases we need to analyze this structure go to analysis option click on uh, set load cases to run option click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure under considerations of the load cases and load combinations for the building structure before that we need to save this model so here i'm changing selecting the name as duplex let us check click on save option okay so that the model will be do the analysis process under considerations of the loads now you can see all after the analysis process the deflection diagram is showing here like this so you can click a display option forces select the spears panel of forces you can select shear to two option click on apply so that it will show you the shear force diagram for the respected building again you can click on the bending moment diagram so this is the bending moment diagram for this respected structure under considerations of the dead loading condition you can select any one of the option from this respected input so here i am selecting the torsion this is a torsion diagram okay so after the analysis process is completed we need to detail this respected structure in csi detailing version 18 version software so for that firstly we have to unlock this model so click on okay option so now we have to add the strips for the respect as slab section under consideration okay go to edit option here so in this we need to select add edit grid strips select the strips option so initially we need to select the top story which is related to the second one with grid di direction is x with strip layer is a click on apply so that it will apply the strips for the respected second slab so after applying the strips for the respected second slab so the uh, now we have to apply the y direction strips condition so again we have to select the strip in y direction which b so click on apply option so that it will apply the strips for the respected y direction also under consideration so after applying the strips for the second story in the same process we have to apply the first story which is related to the x with a layer click on apply option so now we have to apply the again the strips in y direction condition also under considerations of the loads so here i am selecting the direction is y with the layer is b click on okay so that it will apply the strips for the respected first slab section under consideration now we have to apply the strips for the ground level just i am selecting g here which is x with layer is a click on apply option so that it will apply the strips for the respected x direction with uh, strip layer is a again in the same process we have to apply the strip layer is y with b section here okay let us consider click on apply option so that it will apply the respected strips for the respected ground story here like this okay so now we have to apply the strips for the remaining section but it is not important why because we are not providing any kind of the slab in plinth level that's why just i'm skipping this respective step so click on okay option go to run analysis option here so that the model will be do the analysis process for the respective structure under considerations of the strip sign load cases again for the building so now we can see the deflection diagram is showing on this respective right hand side section after uh, applying the strip condition now we have to design the structure go to design option concrete frame design select the start design check for the respective Uh, cross sections of the frames which is related to the beams columns for the building structure now you can see it is checking the design check for the respected beams and column section 
so it is showing all the pink color mark which is nothing but all the beams are passing for the respected building structure now we have to design the slab go to select the uh, slab section so here we have to select the revised preferences if you are available with revised preferences you can select here click on ok again select the slab section design click on start design check option ok so now we have to select the slab section select the slabs which is there in ground 1 2 click on ok so that it will do the start designing check for the respective slab section under consideration so now we can see it is showing the pressure diagram which is related to the all slab section at different stories ok so this is the ground story pressure diagram this is the first story pressure diagram and this is the second story pressure diagram for the building structure so after this we need to save this model so click on control s option so that the model will be saved till the uh, designing process ok so now we have to detail this respected model in etap csi detailing software so for that firstly we have to close this respected software so here i am closing the plan also so now we have to click on the csi detailing 18 version software so now we can see here my uh, csi detailing version software which is related to the 18 version is opening here so here the complete software will be loaded here like this so firstly we have to click on the file option click on new detailing option ok so in this it will ask you to select the model just you can select any one of the model under your design consideration click on open option so that the model will be open in your respected 18 version it will be directly imported to csi detailing here now you can see here the data is reading for the grids stories joints frame section for the building structure ok so after loading process completed so it will open the dialog box here like this which is related to the selection options ok firstly we have to select the uh, preferences option in this we need to select the standard preferences as per is codal provision of 456 then after that we have to click on the display preferences option ok you can pick any one of the option so click on the select concrete detailing option so here we have to no need to change these respected values so we have to put as default value select the concrete uh, rebar rules option here so initially we need to select this respected beam section so otherwise you can start with slab section also so here we have to select the minimum spacing option maximum spacing option so here i am considering minimum spacing is 120 and maximum spacing is let us consider 450 value again select the beam this time taking the minimum spacing for this respective section is 150 here again this is also 150 here again this is also 150 here maximum spacing is comes under the 450 value and this is a 450 value and this is a 450 value here click on uh, select the column section again you can change this respected uh, 75 to 150 value again you can change this respected value to 450 value ok so again i am selecting 450 here select this ok option so after that uh, you have to click on the uh, ok option for the designing section so that it will start the designing detailing for this respected replace to uh, commercial uh, residential comma a duplex house building ok so it will be consisting of all details uh, like results part on the left hand side so you can select the second one this is a framing plan this is a rebar plan for this respected structure under considerations of the load cases it will be consisting of default to rebar values for the respected model so top rebar plan and this is the bottom rebar plan this is the all beams rebar plan for the rebar section ok you can select any one of the section here like this so here I am selecting section A this is A section front view B section front view and you can select the strip views also ok so you can select the rebar quantity select the layout for this respective strip views ok so here I am selecting directly rebar KGU for the two double click on it so that it will load the rebars for this respective structure here like this so this is the rebar values and it's rebar diagram cage view for the respected slab section 2 in the same process you can see the slab section 1 section ground section ok so here I am selecting rebar cage view for the respective ground section so that it will load the rebar cage view for the ground section ok so after that we have to see the results which is related to the beam reinforcement details and column reinforcement details select the beam detailing option concrete beams option select the elevations and sections select the second floor beam next time taking c b 1 4 c b 1 select the section a so this is a section a under consideration it will be consisting of 4 bars of 14 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and 3 bars of 14 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section and steps will be consisting of 10 mm diameter with the 79 center to center distance and this is a section b section and this is a reinforcement profile for this respective section ok and in the same process you can see click on the cage view option so that it will load the rebar cage view for the respective structure under consideration it will be consisting of four bars at the top three bars at the bottom and it will be consisting of the stirrups here like this for the beam ok so in the same process you can see the reinforcement values for the respected remaining beam section so this is the remaining beam it is also consisting of same amount of the reinforcement value for the respected structure under consideration 
In the same process, we have to see the column reinforcement section. Select the column detailing framing plan. So this is the framing plan for this respective structure. And this is tables and drawings for the respective structure. Elevation section. Select the CC1, CC1. Okay, so this is the elevation section for the structure. This is a bill of material and rebar quantities. And this is the rebar cage view for this respective structure. Okay, now you can see this is the rebar cage view. You can click on the section here, section A. So which is consisting of all rebar values, which is related to the uh, four number of the bars at the top and four number of the bars at the bottom. Again, it will be consisting of two bars at the center, which is approximately equal to 12 number of the bars, which is consisting of approximately 16 mm diameter. Okay, again, stirrups will be consisting of approximately the dimensions, which is of uh, 10 mm diameter. Okay, so this is the uh, column design results. In the same process, you can see the reinforcement cage view. Click on the reinforcement cage view for this respected column section so that it will load the reinforcement cage view under considerations of the building. So now we can see this is the reinforcement profile for the ETAP software for the residential and uh, uh, duplex house building, which is consisting of approximately of uh, 12 bars of 60 mm diameter reinforcement section. Okay. So again, in the same process, you can click on the drawing sheet option. So you can click on the cover sheets, cover note sheets. Again, you can click on the list of the drawings, standard detailing, select any one of the section here, column section, typical layout plan section, so that it will load the layout section here like this. Okay. So this is the complete process or uh, detailing of uh, G plus to structural model by using uh, ETAP software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.